It's, it's, it's not inappropriate. It's, it's another one of your fucking disasters. That's what it is. It, first you take a hostage against my advice, and then you start some kind of crazy high school romance with her. Are you nuts? She's, she's a 60-year-old housewife. Wow, she's 57. And she thinks that I'm mature. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. 30 years of marriage to the world's angriest mob boss oh. would make anyone insane. You're not making my situation any easier. Oh, there's a surprise. I knew it would become about you. I miss my family. Oh, you're full of shit. All you ever did was ignore them. And now that they're gone, you miss them. Fucking incredible. I'll tell you what's incredible. Fucking incredible. Hey. You mother... Hey! What? You know, you got me out here. You wrote me into your crazy world of bullshit. If it was lies, new age shit, and arguments about how good life used to be, I could have stayed my ass in Los Santos. Hello, Franklin. What's up? All right. Here's the shot. We're going to Palato Bay. We're going to do this thing. Any questions, comments? Yeah. I miss Brad. That crazy motherfucker was with us now. He would have loved this. Instead, he's got to enjoy himself molesting white-collar criminals in a federal penitentiary. Thanks for sharing. Anybody else? What about me? You'll be waiting for them by the river, handling the getaway. All right. Now, these three go in, you grab the tape, they rendezvous with you, and you get out of there. Is that a uh, work for everyone? Great, let's go. Come on, we got a score to take. You ever hit a bank before, Franklin? Yeah, I was the driver on the job my boy Lamar pulled. Guess it's the same kind of shit we doing now, right? Nice, bro. What was the take? Shit, I don't know, man. I can't remember. Come on. Everyone remembers their first score. She, not me. Huh. Mikey, bro, what was your first bank score? 88, outskirts of Carcer City. Took a small franchise for 10G. Yeah, things were easier back then. Yeah, 25 years ago. Jesus! Chef, will you tell these gentlemen about your first job? T, man. You could just as easily. You tell them. I'll do a sanity check. Trevor, the ultimate judge of sanity. Well, it was, uh, part of the interview process, I guess, is how you'd call it. Trevor knew I could cook, wanted to see if I could handle myself. This cash for gold guy comes through town. It's a good reason he had funds. Next thing, we're burying him and his bodyguard in the junkyard. Well, most of them, anyhow. 15K! He did fine. He's better at all aspects of the job now, from killing to dismemberment. Hey, your turn to share, kid. I told you I don't remember the details, man. Leave him alone, Trevor. This is an important moment, Michael. Here we are, on our way to almost certain death, bonding, pouring our hearts out, and this guy is sitting here, soaking it up and giving nothing in return. Hey, if he don't remember. If he don't remember. I'm supposed to trust this man with my life, and he don't trust me with the details of his first bank job. Well, how about you? Why don't you share with the group? I'm here, I'll back the facts. The check's cash place? I went in, took him for eight grand, walked out. Yeah. It was a bit more complicated than that, though, wasn't it, T? Maybe I knew the guy. Maybe he ID'd me. Maybe you did six months. Maybe I was out in four, and that, children, is why we don't leave witnesses. That, children, is why you don't rob people that you know. <laughs> yeah. Franklin, share. Yeah, come on, kid. It can't be worse than Trevor's. All right, man, shit. Okay, the score was like two stacks, man. 2G, take home on your first gig? Fuck, that ain't bad, man. Man, the whole score was two stacks. Only I didn't see none of that shit. Die pack went off, home. Money was useless, then. Die pack? <laughs> you amateur! I knew I shouldn't have told you shit. Hey, Franklin, we all gotta start somewhere. Last time I tell your ass something, now, oh, come on. <laughs> Don't be so cold, man. Learn to laugh at yourself. You're in danger of turning into this man. 
All right, Frank, we're gonna drop you up here, okay? When you hear it kick off, get ready, because we're gonna wanna go ASAP. I'm gonna get away, man. I'll do it. All right, you know where you gotta be? I got it down. I'll bring a die pack just for you! We ready for this? I could use a restroom break. All right, we all good? Let's hit them! If we're gonna hit it, let's hit it! This won't take a minute! Get down on the floor! Today's going one of two ways, friends! Everyone on the floor! Now! You and you! Out from behind the counter! That's it! Hands in the air! M, keep an eye on our trusted employee! Okay! You got the crowd! Cops should be here soon, so keep an eye out! Doors ready to pop! Come kick it in, M! Down! Down! Ever meet this alarm guy? Fucking shoot him. Not if I get to him first. Yeah. Stay back! We got hostages! Tell the sheriff the 211 is confirmed. We're gonna need everything we got down here. <laughs> Sheriff's here. We never could have beaten that response. There's other ways of beating it. Move it! Call up procedure! I don't care if they surrender. I'm killing me some bad guys. Now let the hostages go, and uh, we'll talk like gentlemen. Time to face the music. Ah! Sweet mother shit. I said back up. I almost feel sorry for you. is here, real and emotional. Plow through it! Let's spend and go. 
This is fucking nuts! How much are dirty cops paying you? Give us some room! The whole federal operation is screwed! I respect your service, but can you fuck off? Don't you got some global police work to do? What the fuck? T, 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 man, they're flying in the tank! We gotta move it! Like right now! If we all go, they'll get behind us! How about I push this way while you link with Franklin? Then we get out separate! Sounds like a plan! T, your guy's good! Hey, I thought I was paying out for another idiot! We hold the army up! We wait for Franklin! Easier said than done! Does Frank know our Rick is disappearing while he's... Hey, you fools really been making a fucking mess out here. Hey, here we go! You okay? I ain't dead yet! I'm on my way! Get on! Now! Ah. 
I'm a friendly, Agent Sanchez. Our very own corrupt G-man in training. You gotta be careful, buddy, all right? Because they are uh, looking around these trains for illegals. And if you're mistaken, you'll be shot, amigo. Very amusing. Yeah, if you're expecting them two to bring you up, you're gonna be disappointed, homie. Right back at you. Got the money? Everything we got. Okay, and here's your cut. Considering present scrutiny on public worker remuneration, this is a big win. Oh yeah, that's a huge fucking win. Woo! Monsters. I'm out. Agent Haynes will get in touch with you once Operation Save the Worlds ago. Get your crew together, okay? Fucking punk. All right. We should probably split up. They're gonna be looking for a three. Oh, the blood we spill for the security of this country. Come on, Franklin. Man, I'll holler at you, homie. Hey. Oh, come on. Seatbelt. Serious? On the freeway. Trevor about? He's probably out somewhere drinking human blood or eating household pets. <laughs> He's not that bad. Really? Well, okay, he is pretty bad. But he's got a sensitive side. Oh, yes, he's very sensitive. When he gets his feelings hurt, he's devastated. So what's your story? I ain't got a story. I'm an independent thinker, living out here away from the man. From what I can tell, you're like a high school athlete, living off old glories. You used to be able to manage heat, and now you're worried if your loafers are getting scuffed. Any more bullshit comes out of your mouth, you're gonna learn all about my past glories firsthand. You understand? <laughs> Absolutely, sir. That came out wrong, all wrong. Tell Trevor the monthly train is coming through. What monthly train? The monthly train. Where have you two been? Getting some fresh air. Talking of beautiful things. <laughs> yes, I hear Stockholm Syndrome is very nice this time of year. Well, hey, watch your mouth, boy, all right? It's always been a dream of ours. The train of dreams. The hell are you talking about? I'm talking about gold. Enough to keep Ron in trailers and you in therapy. Enough so that we can pay off that Mexican and get you back in town, oh. baby! Yeah! Oh. This better be <laughs> fucking good! Oh. <coughs> oh. Jesus! Fuck. Ah! Oh. Man, we've talked about this hygiene thing before, bro. I invite you into my home, this is how you repay me? It's like living with a fucking horny skunk. Get a boat and meet me under Rat and Canyon Bridge. I'll be on the earpiece. All right, so I'm taking a car to steal a boat, stick up a train, and get some gold. That's about the size of it! Make it a fast boat! Ah, the logistical mind of Trevor Phillips. So, it's like gold bricks on board, right? Sometimes! This is a high-value courier service run by... <laughs> Merriweather! Oh, Merriweather? Tranquilo, Mike! This ain't a weapons train. It's goods too valuable to insure for air travel train. Gold! Sometimes gold! Sometimes artwork! Priceless antiquities! Sometimes enough for you, me, Ron, everyone. Fine. And here she is, the magical train. 
I've got a ticket! Hold up! Mike, oh yeah, another thing for your shopping list. We'll need some bombs. Okay. I'll pick them up when I'm back at the trailer. Back at the trailer? Where are you? We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting changed. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. getting changed? What if what have you turned into? Don't leave without me! I'm living the life, my friend. This is quite a spot you pick. Enjoy it now, because it's about to start raining fire. Shit! Shit! Uh -oh. in there, Mikey! I'll be as quick as I can be. I gotta run a fucking salvage operation in here. Merryweather fleet's here, bro! Uh. Ah. You're taking too long, pork chop! I can tell you I'm looking, or I can actually look. They got shooters on the track! Hey, your rifle's got a thermal scope, right? Use it! You find those shooters before they find me! Snipers are down! So don't let that keep you! The parachute regiment turns up. Got some. Let's. In the boat. Come on. Down river. Vamino. You're right, it's a beautiful thing. This 
Nothing natural about this. Nada. Couldn't have done this without that weird vest thing. Chopper, right behind us. Coming down. You feeling alive? Juice pumping through through your glands. My glands are just fine. Without the crashing trains, exploding helicopters, and sinking boats. There's somewhere we can pull up just down the coast. Whoa! Man, you work hard for your living. Boil it down for me. How much you think you make for a senseless killing, huh? Couple nickels? Times are tough. Have been since we put you in the ground. Hey, you had your savings. That I couldn't access because you blew the identities. You know, there was nothing for Brad's defense. Oh, his and hers, huh? Because of your independent spirit. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, before you go, show me the loot. I... It's perfect. Perfect for fucking what? For squaring things with that Mexican psycho. We give him this, and you end your relationship with that little lady. Maybe we won't be dead men in Los Santos. I don't fucking see that Silicon City again. It'll be too soon. But this is... My job, not your call to make. Nah, nah, your job, fuck things up with the Mexican to begin with. My job, my score, get uh, your own! Wait, you give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. Oh. What? Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Just very difficult. Virgin suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? Come on, T. You remember the dreams? Couple kids pulling jobs, the big one. I know, it sounded crazy back then, huh? But hey, you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board. We can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. Yeah. You keep the case. Fuck me, okay? Hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. And you can keep Patricia as well, all right? Because I respect that lady and I ain't gonna hold her back. <sighs> Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way, all right? Of course. And if that bastard fucking cheats on her one more time, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. You know, Trevor, we both know you're not the marrying kind. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! Tally's on the line, too. Hey, Trev. All right. I need your whole crew over at Cape Catfish. We're moving on the chemical weapons plant. Nah, 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 nah. I just gave something to Lester. I need to deal with some stuff. Get back to Los Santos. Just, uh, give me a week. 
We got the equipment with your Polito money. The gangbanger is already on the way. The window is open, my friend, and you are jumping out of it. Shit. Shit! Los Santos ain't going anywhere, bud. This is Weasel News. Sleepy town of Polito Bay wakes up to violent bank robbery. Two hospital groups accused of rounding up homeless men to defraud the government. The sport Americans don't understand is getting commercials. Lane County Savings Bank in quiet Polito Bay was robbed by three men who escaped in suits made of body armor. The bank robbers engaged in a rolling gun battle with police through the quiet town's main street, and it is believed that a fourth accomplice aided their escape. This is the second time Polito Bay has been in the news of late after recent allegations of corruption in its police force. Hospital and health care companies have been fighting valiantly against universal health care, arguing it will decrease profits and lead to European-style happiness and socialism. Two hospital groups, including Mount Zona, have been charged with rounding up homeless men and providing health care whether they needed it or not, then filling taxpayers a fortune. Experts say this kind of fraud will end if we stop all socialized medicine and return to a system that truly works. Pay up or die. Sports News. Nobody in their right mind watches soccer. You watch half the game with no commercials. I mean, that's really un-American. Sell me some bullshit. Experts say Americans are used to sports stopping every 60 seconds for a commercial break. In order to appear to American tastes, soccer team, the LS Benders, have changed the rules to stop the game for breaks and no longer allow ties, which experts say are for sissies. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, man. How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, it's not gonna matter. We're all gonna be dead in about a half hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business, uh, all right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh, you know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, ho, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Fucker. Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And die. Fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisureware, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. 
Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency, and they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 there is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Follow the coast to the south. It's not far. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes!
Final turbine. Nearly there. There's the surface. We're inside the building. Come on! Get up the ladder! I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, your job is to keep this covert and non-lethal as long as you can. Can we go? Hands where I can see him. Drop your piece. Okay. Now hit the elevator. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. Out! Ah! Get the pass! How you feeling about this? I feel pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Eyes right. Stay on top of this. We're fine. Move on. You see the lab geeks? I don't want trouble from these two. Put them up! Ah! We gotta keep moving. Along here to the left. Behind the wall. Security detail about to make a pass. They're on us. Make a judgment call. I dare you. They've gone. We've got some time. You got the access card. Swipe us in. Lab rat in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce. Come on. Open the door. I don't know what you think you're doing. He's got the locking system overridden from in there. Wait, someone's coming. I'm on it. You, stand up. The nerd went down. You want us to take out this door and you along with it? Stick up, guy. You're expendable. Get the nerve agent. This will make me... Most dangerous man in the country. I'm also the most shit scared. Oh man. Thank you, federal government. The toxin is volatile. We need to get it into a refrigeration unit. Security alert. Security alert. Facility breach. You got the right weapon? The shit's about to get real. Security team! Get out of here. 
Here we go. Get her on ice before the sell by. Okay, steady. Ah, easy does it, Em. Just as I was getting used to having the apocalypse in my pocket. There you go. Phillips is on his way. Good. Get this thing ready to move. I'm just a couple clicks out. Is the package ready? Package is ready. Get over here, man. I can't believe they spent the tank from the Polito job on this chopper. It's a flying pig rig. And we need a flying pig rig right now. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor. 
but we both know I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> I know! You have a great pain inside you, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy, so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. I'm so, sorry. I'm everyone I love. Abandoned me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. She mistreats you. I know. I know. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! The otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Miss you already. What the f word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my g damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. F please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the f is that? Boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah, some serious corporate gang-banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! <laughs> Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me! Okay? And look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together? Huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good? Huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you. I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa, hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. Yeah. Uh, I 
should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right? Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to the quarry. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us, the strip club? Oh, yeah. That guy like him, he's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here, mm, right here. Here? Mm. <laughs> Here, now I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two, you two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. The brownies? Or does that girl got three tits? <laughs> oh, high school. Even my son likes that movie. Michael! I'm back in town, Mr. Richards. You want to get together? I'd love to, but I'm in Liberty City getting some lifetime achievement thing. <laughs> Little do they know, my third act starts now. Meltdown! Meltdown, baby! Hey, I'll see you when you're back. Uh, well, I almost made it home. Don't you come near me. Hey, 
before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Taking the temperature? That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung thinking. niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Clockwork, Mikey. Like clockwork. Those are the same planes flying today. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something we could help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Busting Brad out of the clink. How do you talk to Mike about it? Oh, fine. Shit! I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. 
internal. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby. 1330. We're an hour down, two to go. Waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that. Looking for a big asshole. Now just hover here. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll do. No hints at supporting structures for the vault walls. That should hold some weight. It looks good. We're 
lucky these projects take so long. I think I've got everything I need to make some plans. ideas. It's going to take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. like home. Yeah, hello. <sighs> Who is this? It's me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! <laughs> hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, Patricia, I really miss you. A time together. It was, it was very important. I have to go. 